Hi everyone, my name is Pat and I started this channel to show you how to make art with code. And I've been mostly making videos showing you the technical side of things. Now, I want to try something new and that's why I'm starting this new series where I will be exploring new ideas, sharing my thoughts, maybe showing you some projects that I'm working on and possibly other things too. In this video, I will be showing you how I turn an idea into a sketch. Let me know if you like this type of content so I can try to make more. Also, if you like what I've put out so far, be sure to subscribe so that we can get connected. Still a work in progress, but here goes my creative coding process. Step 1. Decide what to make. I get my inspirations from all sorts of places. Everyday things, experiences, travels, or just stuff I browse on the internet. For this piece, which I call Postcard from Seoul, I was inspired by my recent trip to Seoul. What a beautiful city, especially during the fall season. It was sweater weather, the leaves were turning orange and yellow and also red, and there were lots and lots of ginkgo trees everywhere. I want to commemorate this memory, so I decided to make something that will always bring me back to this trip. Once I have a rough idea of what I want to create, I usually sketch it out on paper and ask myself a few questions. How do I want it to look? Is it going to be static or dynamic? What are my color choices? To be honest, in this stuff, the type of questions that I ask myself depend on the things that I make. For Postcard from Seoul, I know that I want it to resemble the feeling that I get while walking on the street of Seoul. In terms of the look, I know that I want it to be dynamic to reflect the falling leaves that you see here. The color palette that I chose is the fall color palette focusing on three main colors, yellow, orange, and red. Once I have a rough idea of what I'm going to make and how I want it to look, here comes step two. Figure out how I want to make it. In this step, I look through my tool belt to start figuring out the how. This is a step where I match what I know with what I want to make. There are a few key concepts and techniques that once I master, I can make a lot of really cool stuff. Because I come from a more technical background, I usually focus more on how to code and I get very excited when I figure out something technically difficult. But working on more creative coding projects, I do realize that code is just a mean to create art. So now I make an effort to focus more on the end result, what I want my art to look like. Once I figure out how I want to make it, now comes the last step, the execution. I start by experimenting out with ideas. If there are techniques I don't know, I use Google as my best friend and start learning. When I get stuck, I usually take a break. This step is very important to me actually. Before, I used to want to power through whatever problem I'm trying to solve, but I realized that a break can really help with not just overcoming a technical barrier, but gives you a fresh perspective and allow me to be more creative as well. I also like to experiment with my sketch and allow the idea to take its own form. Even though I have the original idea and the paper sketch, I realize that more often than not, when I allow myself to experiment, I ended up creating something quite unexpected, happy accidents almost, by playing with this variable, changing the location of that thing, switching some colors here and there. So that's my current process of turning what's in my head into code. The more I code, the more ideas and techniques I accumulate, and it becomes easier and personally more fun. I love to hear what is your process. Is it similar or different from mine? Again, if you like this type of video, let me know and I will try to make more. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.